So a really good stew fish or fish stew starts off with a really good fried fish. So Joe fried the fish this morning. He washed it first with some lemon juice and water. You can use lime juice and water. You can use distilled white vinegar. He used lemon because that's what we had. He seasoned it up with some salt, black pepper, cayenne, and some ricotta, which is the annatto in the powder form, right? So then he presented it to me like this for breakfast this morning. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. And he ate a piece already, and I was gonna eat a piece, and then he kind of hinted that he might want some stew fish. He's off fixing our son's truck right now. So when he gets back, I know he's gonna hope that he can find some stew fish, all right? So I'm gonna surprise him. Not quite because he already hinted so many times what he wanted. He knows that I'm gonna do this, right? So anyways, let's start off by making the roux and we do our roux a little bit differently. We meaning Belizeans, because I'm from Belize. Welcome to my new viewers. Comment below if you make your roux like this, all right? Because I know a lot of countries do it like this too, not just the Caribbean. So this is what we do. Put some all-purpose flour in the pot and I'm using a non-stick pot that makes it easier. And then on medium, on low to medium fire, I just kind of patiently kind of move it around until it gets brown and it gets to the color you like. Don't let it get too brown because then it's going to be burnt. Don't put it on too high a fire because then it's going to burn, all right? So now at this point, we're going to add water. Now, if you're adding the water and you find out that it's lumping up on you, don't panic. Grab a strainer and just strain it. Now, if you were making the other type of roux where you put the butter and then the flour and then dice the onion and stuff, you might lose your onion in the straining and you might have to add more diced onion. But we're good right here because we don't add any onion at this point. So add the water, you see? It's kind of just brown and, you know, not looking really, really good right here. So I'm going to add some diced onions and it's not going to be sauteed. It's just going to be cooked a little bit in um, the water. And then at this point, I'm going to add my peeled and chunked up potatoes. Don't cut them too small because you don't want them to disappear into the soup, all right? And once the potatoes get to the point where they're cooked, but still meeting some resistance with your serving fork, I always use a serving fork to test potato, by the way. Um, that's where you want to go ahead and add your coconut milk. Yes, and you can make it from scratch if you want. You know, I have videos here. Look up in the cards and you will see how to make coconut milk from scratch. But we just got the one in a can. Just pour it in here, you know, it's going to get thick and creamy, you know, and at this point, you know, it's still kind of vegetarian or vegan, right? We haven't had, we, we haven't added any meat. We all love to eat out, but unfortunately for some of us, it's not the healthiest option. How would you like to make better than restaurant quality meals at home? With my second cookbook, The Pantry Laid Bare, you can make Chinese food without all that added MSG. Breads and bagels are a cinch because no appliances are needed. Pizza. It's not delivery, it's the stovetop. These 111 recipes will bring out the inner chef in you. Get a copy today only at www.bearpantryshow.com. Shop safely and securely at www.bearpantryshow.com. Go ahead and add your fish now. The potato needs to cook a little bit more, but remember the fish is already cooked. So the potato doesn't have too much longer to go. Add the fish first because the fish is seasoned with salt and black pepper and some of that's gonna get off into the soup so that's when you taste it and that's when you add more salt and black pepper if that's what you need all right so we're not gonna add anything else to this no okra no what oh my goodness no just keep it simple what is a kiss keep it simple stupid <laughs> yeah so then we're gonna serve this with white rice yes we know this is a lot of carb potato and rice but just cut down on the amount of rice you put in there okay the rice is supposed to be a third cup anyways not more than that maybe a little piece of potato for the taste and now this thing is ready for when Joel gets in I'm gonna surprise him surprised not because once he hints that he would like something he never like demands he'll say oh my goodness the weather is not so good uh, some soup would feel good right about now don't you think <laughs> comment below if you have that type of spouse all right remember if you like this video that we've produced check out this one right here so that you can continue watching some more stuff on my page bye